Netanyahu has had very public spats with the Obama administration, the most recent of which was sparked by his demand that the U.S. set out red lines for Iran, which, if crossed, would bring military action. So far, Washington's refused, prompting a tongue-lashing from Netanyahu. Those in the international community who refuse to put red lines before Iran don't have a moral right to place a red light before Iran. At a recent United Nations session, Netanyahu went further. He produced the now famous bomb diagram while drawing a red line. The world needs American strength, not apologies. His outburst appears in an anti-Obama advertisement that will be broadcast on U.S. networks, paid for by an organization called Secure America Now. What it's come down to now in America is if an American politician criticizes Israel, that translates into support for quote-unquote terrorism. Traditionally, Israeli leaders have relied on broad bipartisan support in the United States. But Netanyahu has had a rocky relationship with Obama from the start and is ready to take sides. We have a prime minister that is a, a Republican in his body and soul. Uh, the campaigns of both parties have handled this issue is that uh, clearly Mitt Romney uh, might as well be uh, the, the foreign minister of uh, uh, of Israel because he takes the position or has taken the position, uh, you know, 90 percent of the way uh, that uh, Bibi Netanyahu, the prime minister of uh, Israel, wants him to take. He, he's basically said openly that uh, that I'm running for president. I'm going to take my cues on Iran from the prime minister of Israel, which is an unprecedented situation for the United States to be in, where a major party candidate is openly saying that my policy on a major national security issue is going to be dictated by uh, a foreign country. Uh, and uh, that, I think, is something that deserved much more critical scrutiny and much more uh, commentary than it got in the U.S. Netanyahu uh, clearly hoped that uh, uh, Mitt Romney would go even further than he did in these debates. And he would actually say that if I'm elected, I will give an ultimatum to Iran if they don't stop their nuclear uh, program, their, their enrichment program entirely, within a certain number of months after I'm elected, I will go to war against them. I will attack them. And of course, Romney's not going to say that uh, for the simple reason that uh, it would not be popular in this country. He knows that. And because the, the U.S. military and the, and the uh, uh, State Department and everybody else uh, surrounding him would completely oppose that uh, and give him very good reasons for uh, not uh, giving such an ultimatum. So uh, I think that uh, this, this uh, debate and the campaign in general has been very disappointing uh, to the Israeli government and in fact has probably caused the uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu to back down uh, from the kind of rhetoric that he's used over the past uh, many months on, on Iran.